Tonight at 11, it is the 40th straight night of protest as demonstrators gather in downtown Portland. It is 11 o'clock. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jeff Giannola, and protesters are near the Justice Center and the Federal District Court buildings in downtown tonight. Our Jacqueline Abad live on the scene. And Jacqueline, how many people have gathered tonight? Jeff, well, I would say there's about 150, 200 people outside of the federal courthouse. Right now, protesters have just wrapped up a moment of silence for Summer Taylor. Now, Taylor was a protester in Seattle who was killed while protesting, and they just took a moment of silence for her. But a lot of these people who are out here today are with the Portland Protest Bureau. It's a new group, and they say that they're out here to, they're out here for peace and to stand their ground. I want to show you this video, but protesters have been sitting out here since about 10 o'clock. Organizers say they want to focus on the Black Lives Movement, not violence. They called everyone to be organized and are advising protesters not to agitate police. People in Portland, Salem, Eugene are coming together for today's event. They're hoping other protesters join them to unite so they can peacefully protest together. Organizers say they want to move towards legislation, which is real change. Tonight, our goal is focusing on education. We're going to let people know more what defunding the police really means. Um, we also want to try to kind of group in some of the youth down here and start heading them in the right direction because it is kind of seen as a party out here right now. And we want to take that away and remind them that we are here for a movement, not for a moment. Another space. Another group um, is meeting out here for a vigil for Summer Taylor, a protester who was recently killed in Seattle. Now, a lot of those protesters who came out for that event joined the, prote the Portland Protest Bureau, but we have recently seen a number of protesters kind of heading towards the Chapman Square. You can see a lot of them walking over there right now. We are monitoring that situation again. Some of the protesters who were here outside the federal courthouse are moving towards the Chapman Square, breaking away from the group that is associated with the Portland Protest Bureau, who plans on peacefully protesting tonight. Again, that group, the Portland Protest Bureau, plans on staying out here until about 1 a.m. Again, we'll monitor that other group that headed towards Chapman Square for um, throughout the evening, and we'll let you know if there's any new developments. Reporting live in downtown Portland, Jacqueline Abad, Point Six News. Jacqueline, thank you. New